Hey guys, Nick Ten here. Today I'm back with another origami demo. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some of my original designs. Um, this will probably be part one of the video. Um, this is just to get you guys motivated for the origami design challenge to see how to show you how much talent you have. And I'm going to show you all the models, most of the models that I designed. So the first two models I have up here are the are one of my most popular origami Daft Punk helmets. These were um, really popular. Um, someone requested, uh, I think it was Draw, he requested to see a tutorial of this. So I'm going to get that out as soon as I can. This next one is the origami Ultraman. This one was actually designed by me too. Um, it is pretty a little unfinished, but I will finish it very soon. This next model is my origami minions. It was actually a um, I didn't have origami pop-ups to amaze and amuse, so I tried to make an origami barbershop quartet, but I used yellow paper. And turns out, I modified it into looking like this. It's not a box painted model, just to let you know. So this is pretty cool. This next model is a modification of Jeremy Schaefer's um, Squishy Blob. This is a carnivorous flower. So, like this. Just push the center. And you will chomp your finger. This one is another design by me. It is an old car. This is a box PETA model using a 16 by 16 grid. Um, the reason it's old is it's a little wobbly, um, but it has a exposed engine too. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool model I designed. This model I have not shown in a video yet but I will do maybe a tutorial soon. Um, this was designed box, let's see, pleat sinking the origami fish base and outside reversing these points and keeping these two points down, rounding this one and thinning this one out. And when you push this, the flosser comes out. It's a little secret compartment. When you squeeze it, it stays put. This next one is an origami transforming lantern uh, frisbee. So when you squash it, it is more of a frisbee and you can throw it. This next model I have is origami Kirby's Warp Star. I showed this model a while ago and I also did a tutorial on it. I will leave a link down in the description so you guys can fold it. So, here's how it works. Yeah. This next one is my origami uh, metal that I designed recently. It is actually a pop-up metal. That, so, it's pop-up number one, too. Yeah. <coughs> I tried to make scissors, too. But, it turns out I got this metal instead. This next one is an org is a failure of Chris Palmer's hat tent, um, but this is actually um, a meteorite now. So I modified it and turned it into something cool. Yeah. This next model is also a model I designed a while ago, which is Kirby Star Rod. And yeah, you can guys go can go scroll down in my videos and watch the tutorial. This is a model uh, which was a variation of origami kid and stuffs, octopus flasher. This is an easier version. It is an eight by eight grid with folded two sides behind. So basically seven by seven. And when you pull two sides apart, the model opens. So it's basically a pleat sunken, box pleated model, and the reason why it's easy is because it's also a variation of the easy flasher. So this 
can also fold that. This is a mo model I also designed. It is an origami, sort of, isolated hat, flasher hat. You open it. It is able to fit on your head. Um, sadly, I did not make a life-size version of this, but soon I will. And that is the end of part one for my origami designs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to stay tuned for part two.